Now coming up on your Thursday DTN3, will LeBron become the next NFL star? Where to get free pizza on campus? The newest Long Beach Marathon champion? Fall fashions, weather, and entertainment next. Hello Titans and welcome to your Thursday DTN3. I am Natalie Silva. And I'm Katie Hennessy bringing you the latest from CSUF. This past weekend brought thousands of people to Long Beach to participate in the Long Beach International Marathon. Participants could run either the full marathon, half marathon, 5K, or ride in the bike tour. Huntington Beach resident Abigail Swift won the marathon during her first marathon ever. She finished with a time of 2 hours, 43 minutes, and 20 seconds. CSUF's own student government, Associated Students, Inc., hosted events to try and get students to get more involved on campus. Coming up on Thursday, October 20th, ASI will host pizza with the presidents in the Humanities Quad. It consists of an open forum question. The event encourages students to bring their questions and concerns to the student and university leaders. Pizza with the presidents goes from noon to one and provides students with, of course, lots of pizza. For more info, check out asi.fullerton.edu. You can't really say no to free pizza. And now it's time for the latest in our entertainment news. Let's send it over to Chris Ann Santos. Chris Ann, what's going on? Thanks, Katie. We have a new upcoming star, and she is only five years old. But don't let the age fool you because her voice is making headlines. Little Sophia Grace Brownlee is a YouTube sensation thanks to her mom posting a video of her seeing Nicki Minaj's super bass. She also appeared yesterday on The Ellen Show with Nicki Minaj herself. If you haven't heard enough of the Kardashians, which I'm sure you haven't, Kim's fairy tale wedding was this weekend, but it doesn't stop there. Kim and Courtney's Taking Over New York will be premiering their second season in November. I'm thinking a lot more business deals and a whole lot of trouble. And if the Conrad Murray manslaughter trial couldn't get any worse, a photo of Michael Jackson's autopsy photo was shown by the prosecutors. The photo was taken hours after the King of Pop died. It wasn't supposed to be shown in television, prompting a strong and passionate reaction from NG's fans. Back to you guys. Thanks, Chris Ann. The NBA lockout continues on as the first two weeks of the season have been canceled, but the lockout has shown us the versatility of some of the athletes. Kobe has been in talks with a team from Italy. Blake Griffin has even interned with the popular website funnierdie.com, but are some considering switching sports completely? That is exactly what NBA superstar LeBron James hinted at via Twitter on Tuesday. LeBron tweeted, when is the deadline for a team to sign a free agent? NBA fans can only hope that negotiations turn around and the lockout ends soon. Fall season is here, which means so are the latest fall fashions. Chris Ann Santos, give us a scoop on what's in this fall. There are fabulous fall looks out there that won't break the bank. So where do our fellow Titans go to get their fashion trends in style? A variety of stores like thrift stores, maybe H&M. Department stores are actually a good choice. Uh, places like Marshalls and TJ Maxx because not very many people actually shop there so you're not going to run into someone who's wearing the same outfit as you but it's also quite cheap and they have a lot of uh, sales. We might not need those sweaters just yet as our weather continues to stay hot. The rest of the week and heading to the weekend we will have highs in the upper 70s and 80s with lows in the 50s with mostly sunny skies. That's all we have for today. For Thursday's DTN3, I am Natalie Silva. And I'm Katie Hennessy. Have a great day, Titans.